Hello everyone, Ben here from Art of Taxidermy. I thought I'd better uh, put together a small, short tutorial video for you guys in regards to the broken wings of the birds that you might receive. Well, as you can see in this uh, diagram here, um, bird wings are basically the main bird wings bones are uh, consisting of humerus, radius, and ulna. So today we're going to be focusing on the larger bone in the middle of the wing which is called ulna and that's where it's basically holding all the uh, secondary feathers attached to it. So um, in previous videos uh, I'm sure that you have seen that uh, what I'm doing is I'm uh, pushing my wing wire through the ulna bone. Uh, of course we have uh, cleaned out inside the bone and taken care of all the marrow inside. But um, what if that bone is broken? What if both wing bones are broken? As you can see in this picture, both of them are broken. The radius and ulna. And by any means, I do make sure that I reconstruct my wing bones so I can mount my bird properly. It's going to be very tough to mount a bird without wing structure. Um, cleaned out wings will not, uh, sorry, cleaned out bones in the wing will not create any problem at all, even after forever. I mean, so it's going to be totally fine. So as you can see here, we have radius bone all cleaned out and ulna bone all cleaned out. So <clears throat> there's two methods of wiring the bird wing. Some people like to push their wire all the way to the last part of the wing. I personally like to push my wire wing through the ulna only. But what if it's broken? And I have shown, shown you that uh, when it comes to broken wing bones, all you have to do is just basically put a piece of stick into it and uh, glue them back together. But we're going to have to push the wire into it and then, then we cannot because it's it's blocked by the piece of wood so <clears throat> very easy solution to it as you can see I am putting a piece of ice cream stick uh, cut down to the right diameter so I can put it into the radius bone and I make sure that it's uh, it's fitting properly and snug and of course this is a, a case of a clean cut clean broken wing after the impact on the road on this uh, juvenile bald eagle so you make sure that your stick in the, in the um, radius bone is all nice and snug. And then with a couple of drops of um, Gorilla Crazy Glue, you're just going to glue it back together. So that's going to take care of the radius. But the radius is the easy one because um, we just need it to be um, there. Uh, we're not pushing any wire through it. And if we want to create the same scenario for the um, for the ulna bone we're gonna run into issue of not being able to push the wire through because there's a block of wood in there of course you can push the wire outside of the bones and go right underneath the skin all the way to the tip of the bone uh, to the tip of the wing but that's not what I like to do I figured that if I can still use the same method and push my wire through it it would be the ideal way so seriously, I just looked around the shop and I just found a very stiff plastic tubing that I could use as a, basically as um, like a form of a stick that I can push inside the bone and it already has a hole in it. So I don't need to worry about it. So basically I'm going to push it in. I have no idea where did that piece of plastic came from, but you get the idea, you can easily do that and find uh, different tubes, plastic tubes. So I make sure that uh, it's not gluing crooked or twisted. So I just pull it out a little bit here and then uh, drop of crazy glue or two. And then with the spray activator, it's all done. Now we can easily push our wire through the ulna bone and continue the mount. Hopefully you like this video please if you liked it uh, hit the like button and share it with your friends that helps the channel grow I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that they're uh, looking for more taxidermy tips 
lead them to the right direction. Thank you very much, guys. If you have any question or concern, please leave it in the comment area. We'll uh, answer every single one of them. Thanks. Have a good one.